Hello and welcome back to the Game Nook. I am Epic Spaz and we are in a barren wasteland because I just killed everybody. Rawr. Alright, we're gonna go into our first ever level and it is Dry Canyon. Which, as a child, I read as Dry Cran. I always hated that Cran level. <laughs> it was a terrible reader. I didn't actually learn to read really good until I got my first Game Boy Color. And I got Pokemon. Oh, does he have a horn? That's a gun! Oh! <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it was funny. I got my Game Boy, and I learned how to say all the Poke names, Pokemon names incorrectly, and so I have never said them ever correct. I never watched the TV show, because my mom was really scared about me getting into the Pokemon fad and wanting to spend money on Pokemon cards and Pokemon merchandise. So she always kept me away from it, and was always, eh, get him, get him, ah! I'll get back to the story as soon as I destroy. Destroy! Yes! Okay. She'd always keep me away from the fads, because she was always worried that somehow I'd get hurt. Like, I couldn't ride scooters, because she'd heard that a kid had went over a crack wrong, and the tiny wheel made him flip over and break his arm. I broke my arm riding my own bike, so I, I don't know. Maybe she was worried I'd break my arm again or something. Um... But yeah, she just was really worried about me getting into Pokemon because she was worried she was going to spend a bunch of money on paper, which was the cards. Um, so I never watched the TV show, but yet my dad or somebody got me a Pokemon game for Christmas, and I was a terrible Thank reader you for at the time. Me. Oh, oh, I just talked right over that guy's line of dialogue, <laughs> um, and so yeah, I said them. I say them all incorrectly, and you can't get me to say them any other way because that's just how they are. I guess some of them I've tried to... I, I didn't ever try to pronounce RK9 until somebody told me how to pronounce it, and I still think I'm pronouncing it too... What would the word be? Too much emphasis on K9? Isn't it RK9? I don't know. Let us not argue Pokemon dialects while playing a Spyro game. Eh, I always like this. Burn! Shuka shuka shuka. Best part ever. Be a dragon. Boris! Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. That was a perfect dragon. The name, the voice, everything fit. Oh, except that I can't glide. Spyro, you lied. You're not a good glider. <laughs> More like, I don't hit the button at the right time anyway. I flinched when I should have scurried. There we go. That was a good one. Good glide, good glide. We are. Squeak! Treasure, treasure, treasure. Give me more. More! Is there anything over here? Ooh, it's the end of the level. But I fell down. And now I'm lost. I kind of like how the water kind of looks like lava. Is it water? Or is it lava? Or is it fungus. It doesn't move. Is it like deadly... deadly desert fungus? I don't know what they were trying to make it look like. It is not water. <laughs> Vulture! I always thought it was funny that when you killed these things, they went Nick! Oh! Oh! I would have hit you again if I could have. You do not hit me with a bird. 
I guess you can say he gave me the bird. <laughs> Terrible joke. Eh, give me more. Give me more. Oh, and these were like my favorite. Because it took me forever to figure out how to do them, and then when I... When I figured it out, it was like the best thing ever. I want some more treasure. I want some treasure. How do I get up there? Oh, I think I have to go... On those things? Harumph! I don't know. I will figure it out later. To be honest, I was going to try to make this a quick playthrough. Because, although this was my first console game, it is in no way my favorite Spyro game. That honor is reserved to Ripto's Rage, which is my favorite Spyro game of all time. It is a masterpiece! Well, it's... It's a game that I enjoy. <laughs> and we're gonna kill everyone! Except one. Where'd he go? That tent. Whoop, I missed. Whoop, I missed again. Next level! Let's go! Oh. That's right, I forgot you could do that. You can run into the portals. Oh. Except when I tried to demonstrate, it didn't work. So that's the thing. We kill! Oh, I love how these guys die. This was one of those other levels that I'd stay in forever. I I really liked the music in this one. I liked the sky color. I also liked that there were enemies that didn't hurt me when they hit me. And so I would always pretend that I was the dragon pet and these people were my owners and they were upset at me. For whatever reason. Because they all hurt you. And then, oh, no! You doofus! Ole! Ow! Ole! Ow! Slap! But I would get stuck in this corner. I want to get stuck in the corner, lady! Uh, I can't get stuck in the corner. <laughs> but I get stuck in the corner and just watch Spyro get the crap slapped out of him for hours. I was. Eah! I remember why you were a threat now. Oh, these lizards are the best thing ever. If only because they have the most gruesome deaths. When you charge them, they tumble and die. And when you fry them, they slowly disintegrate. <laughs> I always felt like the silly deaths should have been left to the sheep, but no, it was these little lizards. And I'd always feel bad about killing them because, like, you know, at first you laugh because of the animation, and then you realize, oh, that's something actually tumbling and falling down, and it doesn't look very happy. I got really self-conscious about inanimate objects. I still get really self-conscious about inanimate objects. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think maybe I was an only child, and I associated whatever Halvor. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't harm metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. Is it only purple dragons that walk on all fours, maybe? I don't know. Oh! Yay! I really like the music in this level. I love it! I just I love the sun, and the sky, and the everything. I swear I used to be able to... Yes. Forget where that's gonna go, though. Whoa. It went up there. <laughs> I can't aim. Ooh. I love the animation for when he gets too close to an edge. He's like, ooh! It's so cute! He's cute! <laughs> He's adorkable! Ow! Feel my flamey wrath. Oh, 
Oh, wow. That was quick. Well, it's the end of the episode again. This seems to get here faster and faster each time. I don't know if it's because I'm getting used to you people or what. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you again next time!